name is Toronto Tornado Hasanov. I'm from Baku, Azerbaijan. I live in Brooklyn, New York. And I fight at a square circle gym in NYC. What I think that makes me different from most fighters is I'm ruthless. I'm ready for blood. I'm ready for war. I'm here to have a good time. Trying to be war. You're going to see two animals going back and forth. It's like two tigers in a cage fighting for the last scrap of meat. I'm here to fight. He's here to fight. This is what we're here to do. Um, this is my DNA. He says it's his DNA. He's going to see who's a bigger man. I'm Sammy Mongonia. I fight out of Houston, Texas in Revolution and Hyena Muay Thai. I don't feel like I'm tougher than most people, but I can be tougher than most people. In the sport we play, there's a lot uh, to the game. And, and me, personally, improving uh, is always just a little something, moving here, dropping your weight here. Um, I'm always learning. I've been doing the sport for a long time. Well, tonight, you definitely gonna be able to expect a good show. Uh, I respect Teron. He's an awesome fighter. He's, he's got a lot of power, uh, but also so do I. Whether you're watching it live or you're in the arena, we're gonna have a good time. It's going down tonight. So there you have it, as the pyrotechnics take flight here at the Broad Street Ballroom. Our main event just moments away on Friday Night Fights, live from New York City's famed Broad Street Ballroom. And the big boost from the crowd, that is for the New York native by way of Kabu, Azerbaijan, Tehran, the Tornado, Hassanov, a longtime pro, a seasoned pro, but a guy we've not seen in the squared circle for several years, Primo Bellarosa. He's looking to come back in a big way against Sammy the Bull Mongonia tonight. Yeah, Toronto had a, had a, a little bit of a layoff, uh, but I, as I referred to it earlier, uh, you know, the kid is tough, and he always has that right hand, and he will bring it in every fight. I misspoke a moment ago. Tehran actually from Baku, Azerbaijan. I missaid his hometown. I apologize for that. Brooklyn by way of Azerbaijan, and we now await the entrance of that man right there, Sammy the Bull Mongonia, as he comes into the ring. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for our main event of the evening, Mongonia and Hassanov. What do you see here, Primo? Uh, you know, age is pretty much a push. Record as a pro, uh, Hassanov has the edge. But uh, Magonia has been more active, much more active in the last few years as an amateur and now in his pro career. Everything else is pretty much a push. Hassanos ha has a little bit of a, of a height advantage of two inches, but it's only translated into about an inch in reach advantage. As we go back to the ring, we get a look at our Y crew between these two participants in our main event. Sammy Mongonia sealing off the ring right now. Not sure if they do the extensive Y crew like we're used to seeing here. Looks like we're getting the shortened version. They'll seal the ring. The abridged. The abridged Y crew from Sammy Mongonia. About all sides. We'll have Primo explain that in just a moment. But right now, we get the introductions for our main event of the evening. One more time, here's Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is our main event. Five rounds of action, full rules Muay Thai in the 143-pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks with the silver trim. Weighed in at 143 pounds and represents Square Circle, New York, with a record of 15, 10, and 1, five wins by way of knockout. From Brooklyn, New York, to Ron Tornado Hassanov. Fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he's wearing the aqua and green trunks and weighing in at 143 pounds. He represents Hyena Muay Thai with a record of 5-1-1 one, and one from Houston, Texas. Sammy the Bull Mongonia. Okay, you both know your rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. Kevin Mulhall, our referee, for our main event of the evening, Sammy the Bull Mongonia on the left side of your screen, getting final instructions, having a final prayer with his trainer, Mark Beecher, the brother of my broadcast partner, Primo Bellarosa. 
That's my man. There might there might be a little bit of bias in my voice. Uh, I will have to say from the beginning that I have helped corner Sammy before, and he's a fantastic fighter. The other side of that is I've known Tehran uh, since he was about eight or nine years old, and uh, you know he actually used to fight as a kid on the undercard of uh, fights that I was on, that I was the main event. So I've known him for a long time. I'm really excited to see him back training hard, and and uh, really excited to see what he does here. Hassan Taranov, 15 pro victories to his credit. Sammy the Bull Mongonia, 4-1-1. One one. He comes off a draw with Eddie Martinez his last time out. That was in December, a very close fight. And if not for a knockdown that he suffered in the fourth round, he probably wins that fight, Primo. Yeah, absolutely. If not for that knockdown, he wins that fight for sure. As a matter of fact, he, he won that round before the knockdown, and he won the rest of the round uh, after the knockdown. But, you know, it's going to be a 10-8 score from something like that. So we're underway in our main event of the evening, live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom. This is Friday Night Fights. Sammy Mongonia trying to go up high on Hassanov. He nearly got tripped up and fell out of the ring. Yeah, sneaky right high kick from Mongonia. The mustachioed Sammy Mongonia. Yeah, he of the fantastic mustache. A lot of wax needed to hold that handlebar. It ain't gone anywhere all weekend. <laughs> Little feeling out process here between Mongonia and Hassanov. Hasn't been in the ring for quite some time. Has not been in the Friday Night Fights ring since back in, since two, almost in 2014. But he estimates that 15 to 20 times he has fought on Friday Night Fights, that, that being Hassanov. Yeah, he's fought here. He's fought on Friday Night Fights since, since young in his amateur career. He calls Brooklyn home for the last 20 years, but he's originally from Baku, Azerbaijan, the capital of Azerbaijan. Nice straight right hand from Sammy Mongonia right there. Just stuck it right through. Didn't seem to have a ton of effect on Tehran, but it landed flush. Little feint from Sammy here. This is a, a feel out round. We got five three minute rounds scheduled here in this professional bout at 143 pounds and these fighters wisely pacing themselves yeah i think both guys know that it's going to be a five round fight we don't got we don't got to get too crazy right at the beginning and there mongonia trying to take over in the in the neutral corner there we thought he was in mma for a second taking hasanov's back kevin mohal our referee breaks up the two fighters double jab there from tehran Came in, uh, Sammy countered with a. And an early, they ended this first round early, Primo. I don't know what's they, going they on here. They ended this first round early. Clock says we got a minute left. I don't know where a bell came from. They ended this first round too early. That was supposed to be a three minute round. It ended at after two. Well, it's a professional fight. You can see Mark Beecher, the hyena himself, very upset with that early stoppage to that round. That was clearly uh, not intended. And with professional fights, it's three-minute rounds. Yeah, absolutely. He, he let the official know. I'm, I'm sure the official actually, actually knew in the ring. So he's probably letting the timer know right now. The fans, unfortunately, deprived of a minute of action here between Mongonia and Hassanov, but we get back to work here in round number two. Mongonia wearing the navy blue trunks with the neon green trim. Hassanov in the black trunks. And once again, Kevin Mohal instructing our team at ringside here that we are indeed fighting under professional rules and these should be three minute rounds and here we go with round two. Scheduled for as many as five here between Mongonia and, and Hassanov. A couple of inside leg kicks from Sammy to start off the second round. Nice hard knee and from Mongonia right there. The nice swing section. knee. I personally think that Mongonia will, will have the advantage in the clinch. And a hard dump from him. That's got to take a lot out of him. Yeah, I, I think that hurt Tehran, to be honest with you. Look on his face and the way he got up. That might that might have hurt. It might have taken the wind out of him. So this is a game fighter 
Nearly 30 professional fights to his credit against Mongonia's six, now his seventh. But ring rust can be a factor, of course. And another hard knee. Hasanov is tough, though. He'll stay in there, he'll throw that right hand. Hasanov, the hometown favorite here, fighting out of Square Circle, New York, under crew Rob Rogan. That's in Lower Manhattan, just a few blocks away from where we are right now, the Broad Street Ballroom, as we come to you live in our Friday Night Fights main event. Inside elbow there for Hasanov. Caught Sammy by surprise, it looked like. Yeah. Minute and a half gone by in the second round. Head kick try for Mongonia. Didn't get all the way there. Mustache still has not moved. I was, on Mongonia. I was literally just thinking that. <laughs> How is it? It's in perfect condition. It's incredible. There's Woo! the inside elbow from Mongonia. That was a sneaky, hard elbow from Mongonia. Threw a little left hook, stepped in with a rear up elbow, nailed it. A little bit of a cut on the bridge of Sammy's nose, though. So there wasn't yeah, well, an exchange. Yeah, well, uh, Hasanov threw an elbow of his own right after the exchange that looked like it landed. Ooh, that right hand popped from Mongonia. Threw a hard right hand, made good contact, but Hasanov, true to form, stays right in there. Mongonia trying to jump on Hasanov there. The Prajad, the armband, the Muay Thai, traditional armband coming loose, so Hasanov just tosses it aside. Under 30 seconds now in round two. Thudding body kick lands for Mongonia. Tries to go up high, great reaction from Hasanov. Yeah, nice duck out of the way from Hasanov. Nice elbow once they got into the clinch. Final seconds of round two. Hasanov goes up high, then he goes low. Excellent round from Hasanov. And you see Mark Beecher getting into the ring. He doesn't look too happy with that round from Sammy Mongoni. He might still be fuming about the first round being <laughs> a minute short, also possible. Now let's see what happened here with these two guys fighting in close, close quarters. There was the big dump there that we thought kind of Hasanov might have uh, taken a little bit of an extra beating on, but he seemed to recover nicely. It was a nice knee, nice tricky knee. Then Mongonia has a lot of little tricks. Makes very quick movements inside, does. That was a tough elbow. Does a sign off, yeah. Yeah, this is an excellent, excellent fight right now. We're live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom in our main event of the evening on Friday Night Fights. Everyone, so glad you could be with us wherever you are around the world. Ariel Lagami with Primo Bellarosa taking in a pro Muay Thai battle between Sammy Mangoni out of Houston, Texas, and Tehran the Tornado Hasanov from Brooklyn by way of Baku, Azerbaijan. Early moments of round three here. We're scheduled for five rounds at 143 pounds. Hasanov coming off a long layoff here, several years away from the squared circle. Hasn't been on this promotion since back in 2014, but he's fought many a fight right here in this ring at the Broad Street Ballroom. And he seems to be settling in as Mongonia charges forward with elbows. Yeah, Mongonia just doubled up on that elbow. He threw a right elbow that missed, came back in with a right elbow again that landed. He's landed two or three now from the clinch. Hasanov trying to answer in kind with elbows. But a tough sequence there for the tornado. Yeah, that was hard. There's a cut, I think. Or that might be Sammy's blood all over Tehran. We might wow, we could add a clash of heads. We could add an elbow scrape. It's very hard to tell. Hasanov hits the deck again, and you're right, Primo. I don't think that's his blood. I think that's blood coming, coming from the elbow. That was a hard up elbow from Mongonia. And that will draw a count from Kevin Mohal. Yeah, Mongonia just drove in. There was a slight break, and Mongonia drove in with a right elbow in the, in the upward angle. 
So that'll go as a knockdown. Hasanov thought it might have been kind of a plow. He got pushed down. He seems to pop right back up. But a big combination from Mongonia staggers the tornado. Down elbows. And down goes the tornado again. Tehran says he's fine. He wants to keep going, but Mongonia is really putting the pressure on right now. One more knockdown, and that, that could be the end of this fight. You're right. Three round knock, three knockdown rule in effect, Primo. If the tornado hits the canvas again in this round, the fight's over. Full minute to go in the round. As long as we get to fight this minute, we might see an end to it. Good nice, ball. nice elbow from Tehran right there. And Sammy Mongonia wearing the crimson mask here continues to hack away with the elbow. He is a man possessed right now. He's getting a warning for elbowing towards the back of the head. He'll have to switch. When Tehran starts to bend over like that, Mongonia will have to switch from throwing elbows to throwing a knee to the face. And again, yeah. the elbow's coming down, and that's it! A knockdown! For Sammy Mongonia, the third of the round, and that's the end of the fight. Yeah, he really turned it on in that in that round. Sammy the Bull Mongonia sensing he had a chance to end it primo, and he did not let it pass him by. Yeah, he, he, he knew it was right at, right at the edge of his grasp. He just had to keep going, and he managed to turn it on and get the finish. Incredible stuff here from Sammy the Bull Mongonia. The final minute. Watch this right up elbow. Bang. If you blink, you might miss it, but that was a devastating blow, and Hasanov tried to shake it off as best he could, but... It was a Mongonia, hard right hand right across the jaw right there. Just too much for him right there, and look, hacking away with that elbow like an ax on a tree log. My goodness, Primo, those are... Those could cut through a human body, it looks like, the way yeah, he was throwing those. I mean, Magoni didn't care. He, he, he smelled blood and went for it. The Houston native, victorious on Friday Night Fights for the first time in his pro career. We congratulate Sammy the Bull on his main event victory. And for the official announcement, we go up to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 43 seconds into the third round, we do have a winner by technical knockout. And that is Sammy the Bull Mongonia. Well, Primo, the New York crowd cheering hard for Tehran, the Tornado has signed off tonight. Maybe they didn't get what they wanted to see. But Muay Thai fans around the world did get what they wanted to see, and that was an outstanding performance from Houston, Sammy Mongonia. And I, you know, I gotta, I gotta say, before I talk about Sammy, Teron Hasanoff, after the layoff that he had, that's one of the best fights that I've seen him in in a long time. Uh, the real winner tonight is Samuel Mongonia's mustache. Yes. Still has not moved after that, but, but what, what a performance from Mongonia. I mean, showed a little everything, right? Showed good kicks, showed good punches, finished with elbows and knees. Excellent, excellent fight. And we also congratulate Sammy's family, his girlfriend Jennifer Guerrero and his two children, daughter Sidley and young son Malachi. We send our best to them. And the team from Hyena Muay Thai in Houston, Texas. Congratulations to Sammy, our main event winner tonight on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Our thanks to our whole crew at the Broad Street Ballroom. Thank you to all our fans in attendance and everybody who was watching us around the world. The president of Friday Night Fights is Justin Blair. Our operations team consists, consists of Eddie Marini and Lauren Gilbert. Our fantastic Friday Night Fights crew with Eric Brody off tonight. The Soberani's family getting it done. Freddie, Eddie, and Javier doing great work behind the scenes. Dexter David and Eldon Phillips on replay. And our great camera operators, of course, Kevin Talbot, Victoria Harrington, and Lee Ho Sang, in addition to our jib camera crew, Felix Morales and Bob Gallipoli. And of course, for my broadcast partners tonight, Mike Chirico, who is on the undercard, and Mr. Main Event himself, Primo Bellarosa. My name's Ariel Lagami. This has been Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun. We'll see you next time.